You'll see in a moment. Valuable information. FML. Prevention. I'm giving away the keys of the kingdom for free. For nearly three years. Building. Two years living in this van. Converting it into a luxury tiny home. Focusing my brain on the most efficient solutions to common van life problems. Like using a large plastic bag to shower it. And something else that starts with an S in a bag. With pine pellet, horse bedding, kitty litter. Using compostable bags, it's eco-friendly and saves a lot of water. It's the only place where OT7 is delivered. Scientologists don't believe in a god. Not like a creation story. I don't know where the word overlord came from. Maybe all our coverage. Sunglasses that are like an plane or whatever. You drop them in volcanoes and blow them up in hydrogen bombs. A spiritual being? That's not what it is. Anyhow, the combination of the hydrogen bombs and atom bombs. I met Joanne Plant. She had horse bedding pellets. It's my first time seeing such a thing. I already have my mind made up on the kitty litter. But as soon as I ran out, I grabbed natural pine pellets. Same thing as the horse bedding for kitty litter. Google, make lights 100%. It smells overwhelmingly like fresh pine, even after it's used. Truly shocked, I never would have guessed that. They're hard, they fluff up and soften. It's the only way to go. And I have to apologize to Joanne Plant. Give me some of this so I could try it out. I have to learn the hard way. Jared Tachi interviewed by Project Van Life. Just last week, he was saying that the hardest part is not having a bathroom. They're so much easier to pick up if you drop some on the floor. Whereas the kitty litter is impossible to get out without a vacuum or a blower. stuff over them. I'll leave that hang over. Clip it like this. And that holds pretty good. Put my little water area that I need to fill. You think I should cut my own hair? I was looking at a video. It looks very difficult. Where am I gonna put it? Where you would have put your composting toilet because you don't need it anymore. You're actually gonna be composting. I'm gonna show you how. Plastic container. This is gonna end up in the land that I got at a local ramen place. Colombian coffee my mom got me from Trader Joe's. I think that's steel steel ring at the top also is gonna end up at the landfill. I'm not trying to say other people are doing it. I wanna be as eco-friendly to the planet as I can. We use companies that use less packaging, compostable bags, although you could just keep filling it with litter. Some people, they, they'll take a bucket and a big bag and kind of like a composting toilet, pouring pellets and litter over each time. They'll empty out once a week or every few days. That's what I'm recommending if you're sick. You're gonna wanna have a bucket. I don't condone buying a bucket for when you're sick and then throwing it away after. I don't even know if that's legal. That sounds like a biohazard. <laughs> Once it's in the landfill, there's biohazards everywhere. I think people should be very careful about where they're throwing it away. Don't throw it away at home. What if there is an accident? Robot arms that pick up the trash can and stuff falls out all the time. What if one of your bags that's well prepared and packaged falls from that height? Making sure everything is secure, I think is very important. If it's going to the landfill anyway, you might as well put something in it, but that's not for me much prefer to use paper and cardboard containers. A blog about disposing kitty litter said to wrap it in newspaper and I thought to myself, that doesn't sound like a good option for this. I was using glass jars to store my used bags before I would throw them in the trash to keep the smell out. Cans are made to keep coffee fresh. Maybe it'll keep the smell in and it works. Maybe more biodegradable end caps, but even if the end cap is steel, I think that's still better than putting a bunch of plastic in the landfill. It's gonna biodegrade and a lot quicker. This is the plan. Even right now, they smell like pine. It smells like there was sawdust in here. This is a process I was going through to try to find the cleanest, no smell way to create a bathroom in a van. Once I made myself comfortable, I don't want to use, I don't even want to use the bathroom in my parents. I have back pain and I've been going to physical therapy way TMI, but it's hard for me to go to the bathroom Sometimes my back is worse in the morning, better as the day goes on. My mornings are rough. From the beginning, 
I was using these bags. Walmart, 100 bags for a couple bucks. Ends up lasting me a really long time. My compostable bag, I'll wrap it with the kitty litter or the horse bedding pellet. Put it in here just for a little extra strength. Drop that into the chute, then cap it. Ordering them on Amazon, I've found is the only way to go. They tend to be really expensive, even in Walmart if they have them. The last time I went to Walmart, I ended up buying these. In a pinch are great, but they're not compostable. They are very thin plastic, but you could count on these. They're not gonna fall apart on you whether you're getting compostable bags or you're getting these uh rolls four gallon 80 bags in this roll and it costs less than five bucks it's kind of hard to get compostable bag if you're broke and that needs to change what four gallons looks like check the seal make sure that it's sufficient to show you how to set it up so they'll dig into your floor the caps that it comes with fell off the carpet's protecting the floor your pine pellets Put as much as you want, liberal as you would like. I can even put this away. Be careful with this bag, I don't want anything to happen to you it. Go to bed at night and you don't know if you're gonna wake up to problem. Have this thing ready to go, folded and ready to go. I leave it out right here where I walk in. Still room for me to go outside. It's not a problem. Great place to put things out of the way. I don't spend a lot of time over here. Maybe you can't find a proper chute to use uh, paper bags. You could double bag them, they're compostable, throw that away, and that's gonna compost in the landfill as well. Not to sound defeatist, you are gonna be composting amongst all the Ziploc bags and plastic people are throwing away. I'm still gonna try to do it the most environmentally friendly way that I can come up with. Convenient that that's also the easiest and least smelly way to create a bathroom in a van. If I have a date over, I seem, I seem prepared. They could. You could totally put liquid in there. I would double bag. But that's not the plan. A bottle with a large mouth. A lot of people use these bottles. Real pros, like the Wonder Hussy. This is a funnel. The Huss takes this thing. You could sterilize anything with bleach. Spray it on there. Tiniest bit of bleach will kill any bacteria. The way the top of a detergent bottle is, this thing just sits on there nicely. You don't have to hold everything. Like it all stays together as one unit. Use the detergent bottle holding onto the handle. In case you didn't notice, this is for females. That's why it's pink. If you're a guy and you wanted to use this, I'm sure it, it works. I'll put a link in the description. It comes with this little bag. But you might think, hey Dave, what are you gonna do? You get a girlfriend, she does not want to use the bathroom light. Not in this van. The Van Kooks, F&A van light. I envy their relationships. If we didn't have two vans, maybe we'll tow a trailer. When the van's being worked on, we stay in the other van or we stay in the trailer. I should mention again what I said in the first video about a van bathroom. My number two doesn't go out into the ocean. At the Hyperion treatment plant for Los Angeles, five mile pipes, everything out to sea. Remove all the solid waste and treat it. A lot of what's in your solid waste leaches into the liquid that they shoot out into the ocean. I prefer it doesn't go out into the ocean that it goes to the landfill, it can compost, assist with everything else that's in the landfill to biodegrade. Instead of our waste collecting in the ocean, killing the, the reefs, it's gonna go into the landfill where those chemicals biodegrade and become fertilizer that feed the trees and the plants. I'm not saying anything new to campers and hikers. Leave no trace. Some of them pack and carry everything from camp, others dig holes to dig a hole six inches. That's not in the city, that's out in the forest. Not in the middle of camp areas, out in the perimeters. Being winter, it's been great to not have to leave the van. One issue that I have with this system, this goes for at home too. You use toilet paper, you use water. Every time I put together a bag and I pour pine pellets, it's costing me money. Usually I go once a day. If I go a second time and I'm gonna use a bag, it's what, five cents? I'm so cheap. Some other products you're gonna want. I don't use hand sanitizer very often. If I do run out of water, I have backup. I don't use baby wipes. I do keep this unopened things. I like to be accommodating to my guests. They irritate my skin. Check this part of the bag. I'm gonna use this for an example. You're ready to go. You got it full of kitty litter. Be very careful. You don't want an accident in elementary school and the teacher made you take care of eggs for a week. It's important that you don't drop your baby, squeeze it too hard. Any negligence is gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt your baby. Twist it while holding it safely. Drop it in there. That's ready to drop into the chute. Everything's gonna smell like only pine. Instead of a wet mess, it's more of a mulchy, fibery consistency. For those of you that are doing a composting toilet, I would suggest getting some of these pine pellets to throw in there with your peat moss, cocoa core, whatever else. The smell from these pine pellets is great. Started researching this stuff. The composting toilet really did seem like the way to go. What they're doing is 
taking a big bag a week or two weeks of two people sometimes throwing it in the trash that's not composting much like what i'm doing here that big bag is going to end up in the landfill and because it's wrapped in plastic it's likely not going to get a chance to compost at least not anytime soon that's the message i'm hoping to get across with this video it's going to be much more environmentally friendly to throw away your stuff in paper the reason you're using a cardboard tube. You're not throwing it away right away. Taking the bag, the used bag, putting it in the cardboard tube and putting a cap on it to keep the smells contained in the cardboard tube. You wanna put it somewhere where the smell can be contained and nothing's gonna come along and put a hole in the bag and cause a leak or, or a mess. That's why the cardboard tube. The thing you can buy for your dog, it's called Poop Vault Experiment. I realize it's kind of gross. I would much rather this be a disposable thing. I'm not using the same container for a year or two. And that's when I came up with the cardboard. Looking at it, thinking, wait a minute, this might work. Everything that's in the tube will biodegrade. I want to talk about legal. Check local laws, because local laws can be different everywhere. I'm in a big city, Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a very dog friendly city. Stores and restaurants where people can take their dogs. You can throw your poo away in any trash can. People throw away dog waste everywhere. Some owners of course don't pick it up. I've seen some dog poo on the sidewalk, bigger than anything I've ever produced, which leads me to this thought. You have your bag and you're like, oh, there's a trash can. toss this. Casual, it's like, it's the trash from your lunch. Go toss it in the can. Don't look around like, oh, like you're doing something wrong. Even if it's the police, I'm gonna say I was picking up trash, some dog poo over here, and I'm throwing it away. Once you say that it's poo, nobody's gonna care. Ew, I don't wanna have anything to do with that. You look like the good guy. You're cleaning up the city. I don't think you should lie to anybody, but I also don't think that you should say that you're throwing away human waste. People judge. A lot of cases, that's something that people just don't need to know. You know you're doing the most responsible thing you can do. Some things I wanna note that I discovered in researching this video. There's all types of natural bedding pellets for different types of animals, all types of natural fibers. There's a product called a wag bag that's marketed to people with pets, dogs. There's a chemical in there that helps solidify it, mainly used by hikers. So when they pack it in their bag, it's not gonna accidentally make a mess. When choosing a trash can, this is an issue at the beach often. There's a lot of trash cans at the beach. They get overfilled. Avoid a situation like that. You have to be responsible. Find a trash can that's, that's not overflowing so that your stuff doesn't end up on the street. About bleach, something that's important to know, bleach kills all bacteria. I got white sheets because you can bleach them. There's no bacteria here that's gonna cause any smells in the van. And the van smells fresh. I can also wash my carpet. This is a washable rug. The vinyl floor, I use Bona. Your wife probably knows going on a date and you wanna be absolutely sure that it doesn't smell in the van. Bleach your sheets, clean the floor. If you are getting a smell from the sink, it's likely a sulfur smell, like rotten eggs. And that's how you'll know that that's where the smell is coming from. Baking soda. Put this everywhere. In your fridge. That's what people have been doing for years. And you can use it to make chocolate chip cookies. You only need a tablespoon for a batch of cookies. Unlimited internet without hacking the IMEI number. 2000 watts of portable solar, a desktop computer, and the new ideas never stop. Since what I'm doing is good for the planet, I'm not concerned with any negative judgment. Think for yourself. Don't be one of the sheep that gets eaten by the wolf. Get control so you can heal pay off debt, save for retirement, Google turn on light, live a durably fulfilled life. You're there. Hey. Horse on here. Oh, the horse got in power. 40 pound bag for $6. Whoa, where do you find that? Tractor supply. On Amazon, but it was $30. I put everything in one gallon bag all around my, my van. I don't necessarily have room for a 40 pound bag. It takes up less space as you use it. You were trying to tell me, but I didn't quite get the pine smell, all I can smell pellets. is that pine smell. Nothing works better. It makes it so solid. I'm blown away. I know. I didn't realize you were giving me like the keys to the city. Like, I don't know if it was the keys. Seriously, because everybody says that that's the hardest part of van life, and that solution changes everything. You don't have to worry. But also, I took it a step further. If you use compostable bags, the pine yeah. pellets, storing it in something like this, it keeps the smell even more contained, protected so you don't get a punctured bag. Throw this whole thing away. Um, I'm done. You're, you're hungover. Hungover. <laughs>
go in the double bag it if you need. The little green bags that I use, they degrade faster. Compostable, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's it's just the crazy. ones that I usually use. Yeah. What blows me away is like the normal way is to have your solid waste go to a treatment plant out into the ocean in art history. They tell you about the Minoan culture. The first running water toilets that just wash everything mm -hmm. away into the ocean. I was outside and my hair is like a freaking mask. I just got a haircut. Coming out so this I way? Do the quartzite thing, do like the Pacific North Blast. What I'm gonna do is get the wood stove next winter. My issue currently is my dog. Pee pad dog. Isn't he pathetic? Jesus.